Hey YouTube, Saptosis here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Monero. But before we begin mining, we're going to need to have a Monero wallet set up. If you already have one of those set up, then skip to the card shown in the video right now. If not, I'll be showing you how to set up a Cake Wallet on my phone. Now that we're on my phone, go to the App Store and search Cake Wallet and install it. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to open it. And there's going to be some terms of use, nothing bad, just saying they're not responsible if you lose your crypto, so accept and continue. Now click create a new wallet, it's going to ask for a pin, I recommend a 6 digit pin for extra security. Choose a Monero wallet, you can set the other ones up later if you wish, and give it a name. And now it's going to show you your seed phrase. This is going to allow you to restore your wallet if you ever lose your phone or break it. Uh, write it down, but keep it somewhere safe because if someone finds it, then they can access your crypto and steal it, and that's not good. So I'm just going to copy it and click next in the right hand corner. It's going to ask to confirm if you've written it down. Just click yes. And congratulations, you now have a Monero wallet. I'm just going to change the theme to dark because I think it looks better, but. If you swipe to the side now, you'll see that you have your Monero address and you can copy it with that little button right there. And this is what you're gonna be to send to, uh, this is what you're gonna send to people when you wanna get paid. Okay, so now that we're back on our computer, we're gonna have to disable our antivirus just for a bit. This is because many hackers will put crypto miners in viruses so they can make money off your computer, thus antiviruses will block them. But now the tables have turned because you're gonna be the one doing the mining. So we need to tell Windows that you are approving of this miner. So search Defender and enter Windows Security, click Viruses and Threat Protection, and then click that menu again and disable real-time protection. Now go to your web browser, links are gonna be in the description, but this is XMRig and it's what you use to mine Monero. Download it, your browser will see this as a miner and might ask if you're sure, just allow the download, go into your downloads folder and I'm going to put it on my desktop but before you do make sure to take it out of the zip file so open it up and then drag the folder out to where you want to put it. Now that we have our miner we'll tell Windows this is exactly what we want to allow so scroll down on exclusions on Windows Defender and click add exclusion choose folder and select the folder your miner is in. At this point you can re-enable Windows Defender and it won't cause any problems with your miner as you've now allowed it. Okay, so we're back on the desktop and we just allowed XMRig in Windows Defender. So what we're gonna do now is choose our pool. So I've got a list of pools here. In general, you wanna avoid the top three largest pools. I'm gonna be using Hero Miners. Where is it? It's somewhere there, Hero Miners, right there number 20. I've got it open right here. I just think it looks kind of cool and it has a lot of detailed stats and I have used this before back when WoW Narrow allowed for pool mining. Just click start and if you scroll down you're gonna see some code right here. Just copy this. If we open the mining folder XMRig right here and right click the start.cmd it'll give us some code similar to that. Just paste what we got from um, the wow narrow miner page and you've got it here so we're going to pick what server we're using you have a list of mining servers pick what's closest to you i'll be using us2 so when i open this you can see it's set to germany by default i'll do us2 and then if you go to the side you'll see your monero wallet address so just paste your wallet address i'm just going to select this delete it and paste my wallet address and there we go I've put my wallet address in and right here your worker name this is just to help you organize it um, if you've got multiple miners on different computers so you know which miner is which I'm just gonna set this to my computer and there we go um, just save that so save it and there you go you set up if we go down right here and double click this start.cmd run that you can see new job from the Hero Miners pool, USA2. So we are getting work from the pool to mine and our computer is going to start mining. So this is going to use a lot of CPU power. It will lag your computer. I would recommend uh, using it when you're not online. I don't know if it's affecting the recording. So I'm just going to stop that right now. 
or if you have an old computer you aren't using, you could set this up quickly and just leave it mining 24-7 on an old computer, and you could be mining on Monero all the time. And what's really cool is with pools, this is kind of universal with all pools, um, you can scroll down, you'll see your stats and payment history. So if you paste your payout address, you can actually view um, how much you're making and monitor your stats online, see how much they're going to pay you when you're getting paid. And you can see my computer. It shows up on the network. You can monitor how well it's doing and if it's offline. So that's really useful. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you all have a fun time mining. Peace.